You might remember Scarlett. This beautiful little Chihuahua puppy went to her new home in San Francisco, and we got the opportunity to hand deliver her and then explore the city by the bay. Hi, babies. I see you. Marco, where are we going? We're having adventures. Yay, it's so much fun. And Margo and Ben came along for the six and a half hour road trip. Because of course, we need to know if San Francisco is dog friendly. My sweetie pies love to travel with us. We arrived on a cold rainy night with the city still decorated for the holidays checked into our pet friendly hotel and these sweetie pies were ready for bed. The next morning Ben, Margo and Scarlett were up and ready to go. Our morning was spent delivering Scarlett to her new forever home. She will have a wonderful, loving family. On to San Francisco, with our first stop, Alamo Square and the Painted Ladies. The pet stroller really came in handy. Thanks again, Stephanie, for loaning it to me. Ben and Margot were warm and cozy in their sweaters inside the stroller. These beautifully painted Victorian houses have been featured in over 70 movies and TV shows, including the opening credits of Full House. We went on to explore Alamo Square Park, sitting on a hill with a spectacular view of the city. This beautiful park is a little bit of nature in the middle of San Francisco, and a dog lover's favorite spot. Off-leash means you have to be careful when you have chihuahuas. I decided that Margot and Ben were better off staying in the stroller. What a view! Wow! And more Sweetie Pies! It's so fun to watch them running on the grass. I'm not a fan of letting my Sweetie Pies run around in dog parks. This section of the park is where all dogs can run free. It was sure fun to watch! But I think I'll leave Ben and Margot safely in their stroller. And for this, I give Alamo Square and the Painted Ladies a perfect score. Dogs are welcomed, loved, and abundant. Our next stop, the iconic Golden Gate Bridge. Now, I already know as a national park, there might be some restrictions on dogs. They might only allow service dogs, but we'll find out. So we broke out the stroller again and had a beautiful stroll along some trails in the Fort Scott and Fort Point batteries that used to protect the Golden Gate. The biggest threats now are the cyclists and skateboarders you have to dodge. Golden Gate Park are spectacular, and there were plenty of dogs on leashes. So far, so good. And my sweetie pies enjoyed being out on this bright sunny day. To think it was rainy just the day before. We really got lucky with the weather. Well, why not cross the bridge, right? When in Rome, the Golden Gate Bridge, which is actually an orange color, was opened in 1937. Wow, it's over 80 years old. But I was apprehensive about the cyclists zipping along inches away in the bike lane. We decided to go out just to the first cable. The water is over 220 feet below. And that water had to be cold, but not too cold for these guys on paddle boards. So 
apparently dogs are not allowed on the bridge. Oops. I give the Golden Gate National Park a level yellow because Ben and Margot loved the nature park but were not allowed on the bridge. Our next stop, the Palace of Fine Arts. Another beautiful park and lots of sweetie pies. The Palace of Fine Arts, Rotunda and Colonnade were built in 1915 and stands over 162 feet in height. And I decided this would be a perfect spot to let my sweetie pies stretch their legs. Ben and Margot were four-legged celebrities all over San Francisco. Gracie had her own professional photographer, Gustavo, who sent me a few pictures. the Palace of Fine Arts another green level, dogs welcomed, loved, and abundant. Off we went to the crookedest street in America, Lombard Street. Lombard Street is a real tourist spot. I thought walking would be a better experience than driving. And it's definitely not made for a stroller. So I carried Margo and Ben and walked down the street. With my sweetie pies in my arms, they quickly became celebrities. So many people wanted to take pictures of them. I really don't know if I would want to be a resident living on Lombard Street. Ben and Margo wondered why there was no yard. The views were spectacular and I give Lombard Street a green level. Dogs are welcome and loved. At the top of Lombard Street is a cable car stop. We didn't get a chance to ride it, but dogs are welcome on the cable cars at certain times of the day and with some restrictions. I suppose if you carried your sweetie pie in a sling, no one would bother asking if you have a dog. Stop Fisherman's Wharf and the Cannery. <laughs> and again, Margo and Ben were celebrities. And they took it all in stride, this time in their stroller. Dinner was at the Blue Mermaid, and of course, nothing says San Francisco more than clam chowder in a sourdough bread bowl. Margo and Ben couldn't wait to try out the clam chowder. Just a taste though. Calamari 
strawberry and shrimp tacos rounded out our meal, and my sweetie pie has got a little taste of calamari. We took in a stroll along the seashore, down to the municipal pier. It was a beautiful sunset. I couldn't get over the colors of the sky and the view of the Golden Gate Bridge. And of course, it's always fun people watching. The water had to be frigid. I just can't even. And this guy, I think he must be cold too. The historic municipal pier. Dogs were allowed on leash. That seemed reasonable. I assume a stroller is okay too. The municipal pier is a great place for people to go on evening walks with their sweetie pies. And the views. Margo enjoyed the sunset looking out towards the bridge. That must be painful. Swimming in freezing water? Oh my, maybe it's one of those polar bear clubs. Or maybe they're practicing their escape from Alcatraz? I rate the municipal pier a green. Dogs are welcomed, loved, and abundant. Although, please keep them on a leash. San Francisco. Yes, you are. Up from the pier is Ghirardelli Square, known for their chocolate. And we found this really interesting dog clothing and accessories store called Yep. Don't you think they need socks? Why are little things so cute? And once again, Margot and Ben were the stars of the show. This was probably the sixth or seventh time strangers asked if it was okay to take their pictures. Oh yeah, they're very friendly. Hi. As always, Margot and Ben love the attention. And a quick shopping spree in the chocolate store because you have to enjoy the local specialties. I mean, you wouldn't want to go to San Francisco and buy M&Ms or Hershey's bars. No chocolate for a sweetie pie. But no one seemed to notice or care that I had two dogs in a stroller. short on time so we weren't able to explore Chinatown properly, meaning no Chinese food. We drove through it and recorded some of the sights and sounds, but we'll have to save that for another trip. San Francisco is one of the most beautiful cities in the U.S. And the city and the people are definitely dog friendly. It was a perfect visit, bright and sunny while we were out, and rainy and overcast when we were driving. Thanks for watching, everyone, and we'll see you next time on Sweetie Pie Cats. Bye bye!